Babe, what are we picking up today from your favorite toy store? We're at Gilbert Young's. We're going to pick up from the factory the name audio modified product that he's he done over the last few weeks. So in name audio, we've got a flat cap here. This is a power supply for a name. Name uses power supplies as a means of upgrading all their stuff, whether that be a phono stage like the stage line or a preamplifier like this older brand new 122X preamplifier. And they have power amplifiers and so on. So Gilbert decided to add capacitor 30,000 to this flat cap, which comes with 20,000 from the factory. So this puts us at 50,000 microfarads of energy, which is 20,000 microfarads more than a high cap has inside of this. So this modification is a few hundred dollars. Very impressive. Inside the stage line, we've added capacitance to the front of the board. The caps that are on the board, as you see here, are adequate, but they're enhanced dramatically in the, the line stage when we add this much more capacitance inside it. This is 20, 30 times more than it's in here, and it allows for more energy for the signal, makes it more linear, it also makes it a little quieter because capacitors filter out a lot of the noise and relate out like this. We've got uh, a main power supply that's been built for name audio. It's a new name GN3A3. So this main power supply would be like you, when you bought a super cap or a high cap. So for instance, a high cap has a power supply that runs, uh, as I mentioned, 30,000 microfarads. This is 330,000. So it is almost 11 times larger than a high cap. So all this is going to go home. We're going to let people test it, try it, get to their audio dreams with name without spending a lot of money. This thing is going to sell for less than half the price of a high cap at about 1700 Canadian dollars. So on it, as you see the line stage on the board here, we've got there's your signal path in here, and this is your logic stage. So logic stage is what they used to do in name. It's unfortunate that they've changed it. We, we seem to need these fancy remote controls. But as you see in the front, the lights change, and I simply could do this. All I really like to see on preamplifiers is a volume control, a motorized volume control. So we can sit in our chair and turn it up and down. They used to use rotary switches. And this, for instance, like a five-step rotary switch. These are hard contacts to each of these lines that are coming in back here. And when we do that, we eliminate this entire logic stage and all of the noise of all these parts. And you can count them up. Each one of those is connections. This way, I'd have one connection to each thing. Here, I've got multiples. So we're making damage to the sound so that we can have nice, fancy lights. So I wish they'd do it like my old name that I bought in 1982. One of my first stereo systems had rotary switches like this. So we're going to go home with all these products, including a great big capacitor bank, 300,000 extra, that we can add on to any name product. <coughs> and hopefully everybody will get to their audio dreams without spending a whole lot of money, a whole lot less money, which is what Gilbert's always been. It's one of the great gifts. So here we go. We're going to pack them up, go home, and enjoy it.